Green Bank is a, a special site. It's uh, unique. It's the only place in the world like this. When the Green Bank site was first created, when we first decided to build a, a National Radio Astronomy Observatory here in Green Bank, that was in the 1950s, it was very quickly realized that one of the things that needed to happen is we needed to protect this site from radio frequency interference. That's all the stuff that's out there all the time. That's your, that's your Wi-Fi, that's your cell phones, that's your radio stations. That's all that stuff that many people think of as essential in modern day life is the same thing that prevent us from being able to do radio astronomy. An example you can use when you think about something like radio frequency interference is a pretty simple one that a lot of the, the scientists here like to use, which is if you were to take your cell phone and go to Mars, Leave your phone turned so that it's, it's essentially off. You're not talking on it. It's just giving that little, hey, I'm here signal. Hey, anybody out there? They give off every anywhere from 10 seconds to two minutes. Take it up there. That signal would be vastly stronger on Mars than anything that we look for. Astronomical signals are incredibly weak. We talk about things in terms of the Jansky, which is 10 to the minus 26 watts per meter squared per hertz, but 10 to the minus 26. The GBT looks at things that are micro Janskys. So you're talking about, you know, you have a zero point and then you put 32 zeros and then a number at the end of that. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. That's why the GBT is so big and that's why we need it to be very, very quiet around here. The result of that is they picked one area, this very special area here in Pocahontas County, West Virginia, and they built two things around it. The state of West Virginia built what's called the West Virginia Radio Astronomy Zone. And that's a zone that protects any radio telescope within the state of West Virginia from radio frequency interference in a, in a 10 mile radius around it. And they also built what's called the National Radio Quiet Zone. And this is a 13,000 square mile area that extends almost to Clarksburg in West Virginia and then as far southeast as down um, below North Garden outside of Charlottesville in Virginia. And it spreads across that entire region and within that region anybody who puts a fixed antenna um, that has to be licensed, a fixed licensed antenna, within that has to talk to us. The reason for that is that we protect the zone both for ourselves as well as for our sister facility, which is the Sugar Grove Research Facility run by the, the Navy Information Operations Command. And we protect this, this whole 13,000 square mile region for both of those to make sure that we have radio quiet skies. Now within those areas, it doesn't mean you can't have a cell phone tower, or radio station, or anything else. It just means that when those are put up, you have to work with us and it'll help you build antenna that will protect us while still radiating out in other directions. So that's why you can drive away from here and get, get um, cell phone coverage, even though you're still within the National Radio Quiet Zone. They're just all built specially to protect us. We're the place in the world where you can come and you can observe at all these frequencies and look at all this different phenomena, scientific phenomena, that you can't look at anywhere else in the world because of the cell phones, because of the radio towers and everything else. And that's the reason why the Green Bank site is, still has so many telescopes on it. It's the reason why when we go to look at building a new radio telescope like the GBT, it was the obvious place to put it. If we're going to pick some place to put it in the United States, let's pick the place that's already very, very well protected and has been well protected for more than 50 years. There are now two other places in the world that are beginning to look at these National Radio Quiet Zones. That's in Australia as well as in South Africa where they're looking to build radio telescopes and they're using what we do here as a model. Without the National Radio Quiet Zone and the West Virginia Radio Astronomy Zone, I, know, I do not believe that the Green Bank Observatory would be the fantastic observatory it is.